Introduction Roli and her mother came out from their house to go to the market. While closing the gate, they saw a cyclist coming with speed, suddenly skidded and fell down in front of their house. Roli helped the person to stand who was in pain. Her mother told Roli not to worry and gave him the first aid. Let us discuss about first aid today. First aid for minor cuts and falls. Ram was playing in the garden during evening. He and his friend decided to have a race. Ram and his friends lined up and on whistle started running. Suddenly, Ram lost balance and fell down. He had a cut on his hand. Blood started coming out. You must have seen such a situation. If you have a minor cut, don't panic. In case of minor cuts, the blood stops on its own. If it doesn't, then press the wound with a clean cotton or towel until it stops. Clean the wound with warm water containing few drops of Savlon or Detol. Allow the wound area to dry thoroughly. Apply antibacterial cream and bandage the wound. First aid for a bleeding nose. Nosebleed is quite common in children and sometimes occurs in adults too. In case of nosebleed, sit in a comfortable position, slightly leaning forward. Gently pinch the lower soft part of the nose for 10 minutes. Apply a cool wet cloth to the bridge of the nose. Once the bleeding stops, don't prick or blow nose for 24 hours. If bleeding continues, call a doctor. First aid for bone injuries. Rohan was out for his morning walk. He stepped on an unleveled ground and sprained his foot. A sprain, broken bone, needs immediate attention. In case of such injury, don't move the affected part. Apply support with splints or folded newspaper to prevent further injury. Apply cold packs or a bag of ice wrapped in cloth to the injured area. Keep the injured person lying down or under rest until medical help arrives. In case of sprain injuries, RICE RICE is the immediate treatment. R means rest the injured part of the body. I means apply ice or cold water to the injured part. C means wearing an elastic bandage helps to reduce swelling. E means keep the injured part elevated. First aid for minor burns. Seema was boiling milk. The saucepan slipped and the hot milk spilled on her hand. She got a burn in her hand. Burns are of three types. First degree, second degree and third degree burns. Burns generally come from fire, exposed electrical wires and chemicals. All the burns need to be treated to reduce the heat of the burnt area and reduce the damage of the skin. In case of first degree burn, remove the cloth from the affected area, run cool water over it. Do not apply oil or butter. Apply burn gels or cream to the affected area after drying it. First aid for major burns. When the extent of damage of tissues is large, it is categorized as major burn. In case of major burn approach for the medical help immediately for the second and third degree burns. Follow the instructions for first degree burns. Major burn. Do's and don'ts. Do's and don'ts in case of major burn. Keep the burnt area elevated. Run cool water over all types of burns to reduce the heat in the affected area. Do not keep the affected area under ice water. 
Do not rub the burnt area with ice. Do not apply oil or butter. Do not remove the stuck clothes. Insect sting. Insect bite and sting cause immediate irritation to skin. The ant bite and stings of bees and wasps are painful. Remove the stinger by scraping a straight-edged object across the stinger. Wash the area with mild soap and water. Place ice wrapped in cloth on the area of the sting. Apply a cream that reduces itching. First aid for animal bite. Animals attack when they are provoked or in danger. Even the minor animal bites and scratches may lead to complication. To treat a minor bite, First, wash your wound thoroughly with soap and flowing water. Wash the hands also well after cleaning the wound to avoid the infection. Then cover the wound with antibiotic ointment and clean bandage. Consult doctor for further treatment as you may need a tetanus shot. It is must to take doctor's suggestion in case of punctured or broken skin. In case of major bite after giving the first aid, take the necessary medical help. Snake bite and symptoms Snake bite can be dangerous. If the snake is poisonous, it needs immediate emergency medical help. Snake bite may be fatal if not treated quickly. The main symptoms of snake bites are bleeding from wound, blurred vision, convulsion, fainting, numbness and tingling, rapid pearls, tissue death, severe pain, skin discoloration, weakness, thirst. Some do's in case of snake bite. Keep the person calm and keep the affected area below the level of ear to reduce the flow of venom. Remove rings or constricting items as this area may swell. Some don'ts. Do not allow the person to become overexerted. Do not scratch the area. Do not try to suck venom by mouth. Do not give medication without doctor's suggestion. Do not raise the area of bite above the level of the person's heart. First aid for drowning. Drowning occurs when someone submerges and suffocates in water. To revive a drowned person after rescuing is equally important for saving a life. Call for emergency medical help. Turn the drowning person's head to the side so that the water may drain from his or her mouth and nose. After a few minutes, turn the head back to the center. Breathe mouth to mouth strongly four times into the mouth of the injured person as you pinch his or her nose. This helps air clear away any water that is clogging the breathing passage and the lungs. After four strong breaths, put your ear near the mouth and watch the chest for any breathing movement. Check the pulse for signs of life. Again, Every one minute, repeat mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathing till the person starts breathing or the medical help arrives. Safety during an after earthquake Safety during an earthquake If you are inside your house, take cover under a study desk or table or stand in the corners of a room. Don't stand close to exterior walls and windows, tall furniture, and hanging pictures or mirrors. If you are in the kitchen, put off the stove before you take cover. Put off the main electrical switch of the house. If you are outdoors, get into the open space, which is away from buildings and power lines. If you are driving, do not stop under or near electrical power lines, light posts, trees or signs. Stay in your car until the earthquake is over. Safety after earthquake. Ensure that everyone is safe. If needed, call for emergency help in the area. Check for your immediate location for safety.
do not put on electrical switches or appliances without ensuring that they are functioning perfectly. Stay away from downed power lines and never touch wires lying on the ground, wires hanging on poles or objects that may be touching them. Drowned wires still may be carrying current and could shock, injure or even kill if touched. Safety during and after flood Keep the emergency supplies with you. Stay informed by listening to the radio or television for situation of flood, evacuation instructions and about the routes in the area. Never ignore an evacuation order of authority for the safety of you and your family. If you have time, switch off the electrical appliances. Put off the main supply of gas, electricity and water. Do not touch electrical equipment if you are wet or standing in water. Avoid flood waters as water may contain raw sewage, harmful bacteria or electrically charged from the broken power lines. Only return home after the area is declared safe. Clean up the house wearing gloves and boots. Do not use the flood-contaminated water for washing, cooking and bathing. Prevent and treat injuries due to exposure to flood waters. Prevent illness initiated by flood water or contaminated items. Use clean, boiled-out, disinfected water for drinking and cooking and personal hygiene. Throw away any food that may have come in contact with flood water. Safety during and after cyclones Safety during cyclones When the cyclone strikes, disconnect all electrical appliances. Stay in touch through your battery radio for updates. Stay inside the house in the strongest part of the building. Be ready with the evacuation and emergency kits. Protect by covering yourself with quills, rugs or blankets under a strong table or bench if the building starts cracking. Safety after cyclone. Do not go outside till it is declared safe. Do not switch on the electrical appliances if wet. Listen to local radio for official warnings and advice. If you have evacuated the home after the order of authority, do not return until advised. Be careful of fallen power lines, damaged buildings and trees, and do not go near the flood waters. Summary Let us summarize what we have learnt. In case of minor cuts after cleaning the wound, apply antibacterial cream and bandage the wound. In case of nosebleed, sit slightly leaning forward and gently pinch the lower soft part of the nose for 10 minutes. Apply a cool wet cloth to the bridge of the nose. Do not prick or blow nose for next 24 hours. Rise. Rest, eyes, compression, elevation are the four basic elements of immediate treatment for bone injuries and sprain. Run cool water over all types of burns to reduce the heat in the affected area. Do not apply oil or butter. For second and third degree, approach the medical help immediately. Follow the instructions for first degree burns. In case of insect sting, move the stinger by scrapping a straight edged object across the stinger. Wash the area with mild soap and water. Snake bite from poisonous snakes needs immediate emergency medical help. Snake bite may be fatal if not treated quickly. Breathe mouth to mouth strongly for several times to restore the respiration of the drowned person. Keep the emergency kit ready and follow the instructions of authority during earthquake, flood, cyclones and other natural disasters.